Hi everybody, it's Tom Woods and this is my updated video on how to start your blog. My old video was a little bit out of date because some of the screens that you're going to see are a little bit different now and I wanted to make this as easy on people as possible so I decided to make the whole video all over again. I've emphasized quite a bit over the years the benefits of having a blog. Of course, it, on a visceral level, helps you to get things off your chest and insert yourself into the conversation, but also it disciplines you. It helps you to become a better writer because really the best blog posts tend to be shorter ones and forcing yourself to write concisely is in my view along with just sheer practice the quickest path to becoming a better writer. But anyway, I look, I've already persuaded you. That's why you're here. So here's how you do it. I think this is just that one hurdle that remains. People think, all right, I've, I'm convinced that it's a good idea, but I don't know how to even get started or what step one is. So I'm going to walk you through step one and a few steps besides. So what we're going to do is type tomwoods.com slash blue, which, which, which you should do also, which will take you to my link over at Bluehost, because the first thing you need is web hosting, and this will get you a good deal because this is my discounted link. So here it is. So there, there, there I am. Fun. Well, obviously, you click Get Started Now, right? I mean, there, there you go with that. And now you choose a plan. Now, I recommend looking at these. Uh, obviously, if this is all you can spring for, then go ahead and get the basic. But you may say you want only one website now, but, you know, you say a lot of things to yourself that wind up to be untrue. So unlimited websites, basically unlimited web website space, uh, you know, these are things you're probably going to like, and then you have other uh, benefits down here as well. So I would get either the plus or the prime uh, if, if it were, if I were making the decision now. So here, in this case, it makes no sense not to get the prime. So let, let's go ahead and select that. And here, if you don't have a domain name, you know, that is, for example, TomWoods.com, if you don't have anything picked out already that you got from a domain service like GoDaddy or something, See, I have a domain name, then you would enter the domain name here and they would take you down a different path. But like most people, you're going to be coming to this with no domain name. And you can just get it through Bluehost while you're here. It seems like a convenient thing to do. So I want to choose something, just for the sake of illustration, that I know for a fact no one has chosen. So I'm going to assume nobody has chosen this.com. Now let's... <laughs> Let's click next and see if, in fact, I am correct about that. Uh, I am correct. <laughs> no one in his right mind would choose that ridiculous name for a site. So then you're taken to this this um, page where you got to enter your information. So I'll enter my information off camera, so to speak, and then I'll click to get to the next screen. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are on the next screen. That That previous screen required me to enter my credit card information, and obviously I prefer to do that off camera, so to speak. So uh, these are some special offers. I think we'll say no thanks to the special offers and then move on to the next screen. So now let's create a password for the account. So I click create a password. So uh, uh, let's see, look at all these requirements. It's like something out of the CIA or something. If only the CIA were this secure. All right, well, I'm going to tr <laughs> try this one. Let's see if this satisfies the police. Okay, and I check the little box, and off I go. See how it's, it's all self-explanatory so far. So they're creating my account. It's all very exciting. And then we'll see what comes on the other side of this. Okay, so we have this. I'll click log in. See, we already have the site, believe it or not. We already have the site now. So my new WordPress site is being installed. That's good. Um, you want that. Just trust me. You want that. It's going to make your life easy. Um, so then you see you've got these different links to take you to different places. But what I'm going to do is once this is finished installing, I'm going to show you how to go out there and post your first post. How about this? So what is the site I'd like to use? Well, it's this awful <laughs> nobodyhaschosenthis.com. And here I am logged in. How about that? Now, I'm going to want to choose a theme for my site. A theme is a, that's a term that describes kind of the overall look of the site. 
And you can get there by going to Appearance. Just hover the cursor over Appearance, and then you'll see Themes as an option. So let's click on Themes, and we'll see what some of the options are. All right, they're giving you three possible free themes that don't cost you anything. Then you, you could try Premium Themes also um, if you want to pay for a theme, if you want something that's super-duper sharp or that just really seems like it fits your vision for your site just so. But let's suppose we just want to do a free theme. We're, we're trying to keep this on a budget. So let's suppose we want a free theme. Let's take this one. Um, let's give this one a try. In fact, let's, let's click Live Preview just to give you a, a, a sense of what this theme would look like. Okay, now without any uh, uh, photographs or anything, looks pretty bland. So, you know, you want to add, uh, you know, you can add a header image, which is what we saw before. There was a nice little image up here. You can have a background image for the whole site. I mean, obviously, I'll let you do that for yourself. You can choose the colors, all kinds of different possibilities. But as you can see, every time you see this little pencil icon, that just means you can edit. So certainly, I don't want to keep nobody has chosen this dot com as, uh, you know, that's a pretty terrible site title. So let's let's say, I don't know. Let's say it's it's on horse racing. Yeah, let's, let's we'll just call it horse racing. How about that? Horse racing. I, I don't know anything about horse racing. And then my tagline here. Well, I certainly don't want. I don't know why they have this as the default. Just another WordPress site. Boy, that's depressing. Why don't you say you know your best source for whatever? I mean, you could continue on from there. Um, then you can, you know, you can change these sorts of things. You can add different categories that helps you with, with, uh, search engine optimization. Um, so, and then you can just do save and activate. And how about that? So when I then go back to the previous page, I can go up to this and click visit site and see that this is what the site currently looks like. So it's got my changes that I made, horse racing, your best source. Then, as I say, if I want to add an image, which I strongly recommend, obviously this looks uh, pretty barren without it, uh, and or some background images, you've seen how to do that. And then it comes populated, pre-populated with this first post. Um, and of course, what you can do is just click edit here, edit this post to be whatever you want your first post to be. So obviously just click edit and off you go. But instead, let me show you how most of your posts are going to be posted. Because most of your posts aren't going to begin as hello world that you edit. Most of your posts are going to begin from scratch. So let me show you how you would post something from scratch. So we'll go back here. This little bar up here is visible only to you as the site owner. Uh, no visitor to your site sees this. This is how you, you get into the back end of the site and make changes like add posts, add graphics, things of that sort. So um, you can go through the help. You can click on personal uh, whatever. Let's just do I don't need help for the time being. And instead what we'll do is we'll go to posts and I'll click on posts and then add new. Okay, so it's it's really, don't do pages. Pages is different. You want posts, add new, and let's say here's our first post. Obviously, you wouldn't title your first post that. And hooray, here we are. Now, I can even, just so you know, it's just like Microsoft Word in a way. I can highlight this, make it uh, bold, make it bold italic, make it just italic. Uh, I can do things of that sort. I can put a hyperlink so that when people see here we are, it links them to somewhere. They can click on it. Uh, you can play around with that. But let's click on Publish, and we have now published our first post. Now, Add Media is how you would add photographs and things of that sort. So let's, um, let's click on Let's click View Post. Let's see what this one post looks like. There it is. Here's our first post. Hooray, here we are. Well, there's a lot more you can do to play around with your brand new blog, as you've seen. But that is a quick overview of how to get started, how to get up and running, how to get that first post posted. And you are off to the races, so to speak. So in the description of this video, I've got two links that will be helpful to you. One is tomwoods.com blue, which is my affiliate link that gives you a discounted price on your hosting. And secondly is a link to a very a systematic 
overview that I wrote of how to get that blog going. Like, what are some best practices? What are some tips? What are some free tools you can use? What are some things you can do to spruce up the site or to make it, uh, you know, to monetize it, let's say. There are uh, recommendations like that in that link. So make sure and check out the description of this video on the YouTube page for this video. And thanks so much for watching.